And now we would turn to another major story. President Trump today vowing to win the battle against the deadly opioid epidemic in this Though he stopped short of taking his commission's recommendation to declare a national emergency over it. Tonight, NBC's Blake McCoy takes us inside a community in Ohio where this crisis is truly hitting home. Beneath Cincinnati's scenic beauty lies an epidemic that is rotting away at this community. This past Saturday, Hamilton County saw 22 suspected overdoses in 24 hours, prompting public health officials to issue a community-wide alert. We're yelling as loudly as we can, and nobody's listening. And the ones that don't listen end up here. Dr. Samarco, the coroner here, says she's already seen 313 overdose deaths this year. The county easily on track to surpass last year's record, 403 deaths. This epidemic is literally killing this community. Absolutely, yeah, it is. It is. I mean, we have, um, we used to do autopsies until about noon. Now we're well into the afternoon doing autopsies. The powerful synthetic fentanyl, up to 100 times stronger than heroin, is often to blame. It's laced in heroin for a stronger high, but is now being found cut into other drugs like cocaine. Christina Locke is a recovering addict. Heroin was my... My love was my, my soulmate. Addicted to pain pills at 19, heroin by 27. It's a total bankruptcy, like mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually bankrupt, like the walking dead. As the crisis drags on, there's growing concern about heroin fatigue. We can't say that we're not overwhelmed. We are. And it is frustrating to know that you want to help people, but you don't have those tools and resources to do it. First responders responding again and again in a community ravaged by addiction. Blake McCoy, NBC News.